And then, I mean, I really felt bad for him. I just, I screwed it up. I don't have that fancy way with words that city folk have. Mm-hmm, sir. So, you want another Coke? Yeah. You keep it for listening to my ramblings. He just shooed me off his ranch, you know? Out of there, Mr. Marsh. Taking care of yourself? <sighs> hey, I understand if you don't really feel like having a conversation with me, but at least listen, all right, partner? I have another rat on me. All right, babe. Well, I may as well make this quick. I think I might have been too tough on you, fella. I think we all deserve a chance at redemption, contrary to what our former conversation may have led you to believe. But uh, don't mistake this generosity for weakness, sir. No, I never would. You're, you're an inviolable man. Well, I appreciate it, but I, I don't think I would say that much. Well, like I was saying, I think we all deserve an opportunity to redeem one sin. Personally, I think it comes at any cost. I'm following you. Good, good. Well, in the same vein, one should be willing to give up all they have in penance for their sins. You see, I already have given up all I have, not by my own volition either. Yet I had committed no sin. Do you follow where I'm going with this, Mr. Marsh? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. You have a way of speaking that I, I, I don't quite understand. That's fine, sir. That's that's perfectly fine. Uh, what would you like, sir? Uh, give me a uh, give me a glass of your your best alcohol. Well, preferably whiskey. Yes, sir. Here you go, sir. Just uh, keep the change. Here you go. Thank you, sir. So, did you have anything to uh, say for yourself, or shall I keep talking? Well, uh, it appears I have lost my train of thought. I apologize, Mr. Marsh. <laughs> <laughs>